It's now been a whole year since the release of Martin Scorsese's epic gangster movie The Irishman, his 10-time Oscar-nominated mafia film starring Robert De Niro, Al Pacino and Joe Pesci. The movie was released on Netflix to widespread critical acclaim, boasting a mammoth runtime of three and a half hours, and unlike previous Scorsese gangster movies, telling a melancholy story, a movie one about ageing, love, friendship, regret and betrayal, focusing on weary and older mobsters past their prime, looking back on their lives, in a similar fashion to the director and the main cast, who were all in their 70s, and part of the very fabric of the movie was for it to be the curtain closer, the last hurrah for this generation of actors and this kind of movie. It's a historic picture, and there will never be one quite like it ever again. Now given the film was released on the streaming platform Netflix after a limited two-week theatre run, Questions are raised as to whether the movie would get a physical release, as usually Netflix do not release DVDs and Blu-rays of their original projects. A few months after the movie's release date, however, it was confirmed that The Irishman would in fact be released on physical media, as a result of it being added to the Criterion collection. That physical release is now out and available for purchase, and as most aware with Criterion will know, they usually have special features and extra content on their DVDs, and it's no different with The Irishman. One of the things The Irishman's release had is a documentary on the film, clocking in at just under 40 minutes. This documentary is available to watch for free on YouTube, on the Netflix Film Club YouTube channel. I watched it, and the 40 minutes just flew by. It really is a great documentary to watch for fans of the film. They covered a lot of ground, and it never gets boring. One of the best things about it is the snippets of B-roll footage of guys like Scorsese, Pacino, Pesci and De Niro preparing for scenes, talking to each other and rehearsing. There's a lengthy one in the beginning of the documentary of Scorsese and Pacino going through Pacino's dialogue at one of Jimmy Hoffa's trials with Robert Kennedy, and then Pacino filming the scene itself, with Scorsese watching on through the monitor and waving his hand around like an orchestra conductor and then a clip of the final scene in action, and finally the two men joking and laughing after the scene is done. There are interviews with almost all of the main cast, including the likes of Bobby Cannavale, Stephen Graham and Ray Romano, with the only notable absentees Harvey Keitel and, unsurprisingly, Joe Pesci, who famously hates doing things like press interviews and being in the spotlight. De Niro and Scorsese take us through the inception of the project, from them originally going to work on something called The Winter of Frankie Machine, until De Niro read I Heard You Paint Houses by Charles Brandt, who is also interviewed in the documentary by the way, and they ended up going for that project instead because De Niro, and subsequently Scorsese, felt so passionate about it. All the actors who are interviewed talk about their characters and how they brought them about and to the forefront. Pacino, for example, saying that he read a lot of books on Hoffa and saw a lot of videos with him, and even listened to his speeches before his scenes in the film using headphones. The de-aging technology used to de-age the cast is of course talked about. You can't have a documentary on The Irishman without bringing that up. But thankfully they don't talk about it that too much, because quite frankly that subject has been done to death. It was practically all anyone was talking about regarding the film in the run-up to its release. I found these segments where Rodrigo Prieto talks about how they gave each time period in the film a different look, and how they achieved it to be really interesting, among many other segments of the film. All in all, it's a great documentary, and the snippets of the film here and there in it really make me want to see it again, very soon. Thanks for watching.